Hi, it's Lori, the armchair chef. I'm home from work, tired, got that tired look again. Um, I am going to be opening up a happy mail that I got today. It was so funny because it was sitting in one of our containers and I go, that box looks familiar. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> it's one of my boxes from the food company I used to have and I must have mailed it to somebody and they used it to mail it back to me. So um, I'm like, who else would use this? They don't, this company doesn't even uh, exist anymore. <laughs> it's called something else. So I thought that was pretty cute. Um, I'm going to open this. I'm not going to, it's, I was given a heads up that it's a tasting box, but I'm not going to do the tasting at the moment, but I want to open it up and see what I've got. And then I have to plan for the tasting. I have to set it up and make sure I've got everything I need for the tasting, unless there's something really good in there that I want to taste now. We'll see what it is. I might have to do it later, but I want to open it and see what's in there. So let's see, there's messages on the box. It says, sweet. It's a taste testing. Happy tasting. Um, smiley faces. And it did get a boo-boo. It was the one scene she didn't tape. <laughs> Unless they taped it at the plant. It's possible somebody put some more tape on it. Because, yeah, it was a... It got a little... This side popped open a little bit. So, uh, it's possible the plant put some more tape on it. Not sure. But, yeah. This is why I use six feet of tape on every package I mail. It's just... I've only had one. In 300 packages, only one ripped open. It was because I didn't have tape on the whole thing. Just saying. So, um, do I have something to cut this open with? Um, I do have scissors. Where did I put them? I've been crocheting. And used my scissors, and now I can't find them. Okay, well, I guess I can rip open the side that's open. Bob's not too happy. He doesn't like it when I play with boxes and stuff. It's trauma. Okay, you got it. And there's a note. We'll get the note first. Let me put this over here. Oh, oh a note and a card. Okay, let's see. It's okay, all done. Go relax. All done. Oh, oh, there's no note. Just a card. <laughs> not sure. Okay. I haven't said yet who it's from, have I? A lot of happy faces. Hope you enjoy all the flavors I could find. Some are actually pretty tasty. Oh, she's had some. Thought you might need a calendar. It's a two pack in case you want to share. Oh, cool. Thank you. This is from Mary. Mary loves to see me eat weird stuff. But she also is very generous and giving and um sometimes she's a little fairy godmother too so dogs oh that's nice oh there's two of them in here oh it must be that little one the different pictures of the dogs let's see we got so how many of these have i had oh corgi i knew a friend that had one of them oh get them oh i think that's mine that oh, looks like a little chihuahua Hugs. Oh, I love all the babies. They're all good. They're all great. So, oh my goodness. Well, talk about sweet. This might have to last for a few days. It's okay. Come on. You can come sit. It's okay. Sit. I think somebody should be paying my dentist bills. Cotton candy, lots of different flavors. 
This is cool. This one, let's see. This is Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. Dr. Pepper. That's always nice. Ollie's. We don't have an Ollie's. I love Dr. Pepper. I drink Dr. Pepper. Actually, lately I've been getting root beer. No. Hot tamale. Remember the um the Easter peeps were hot tamale that one year? I tried that. Oh, fierce cinnamon flavor. Okay. I might have to spread this one out a little bit. Let's see. Charms. I remember eating charms, candies, fluffy stuff. Cotton tails. They look like little rabbit butts, I guess. Um, snowballs. Little white balls. Okay. Um, this is birthday cake cat and candy. Okay. That's nice. I love to see if they taste like they're supposed to. Or they taste like, ooh, cotton candy product of Mexico. Mexican cotton candy. That is cool. I don't think I've ever had that. And <laughs> here's a big carrot. <laughs> this one's funny. Look at this. It's a carrot. Jelly bean flavored. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. It has air in it, so it stays a little puffy, but it looks like a carrot. That is funny. Only 110 calories. How many servings? All three. It's okay. Um. Oh, there we go. There they are, peeps. Yeah, who sits in the car and eats a bag of marshmallows? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Got some peeps. Oh, peeps cotton candy. Ooh. They're marshmallow flavored. Oh, yeah. I might not. I do not think I'll be able to do this all in one sitting. So, what I will probably do is as I show you my crochet stuff, I'll have some candy because yeah this is too much for me to do at one time definitely gonna do it just not all at one time it's a party pack they are they look like little okay there's three servings Cotton candy flavor, blue raspberry, and another one, a green one. So that's shareable. Watermelon. Ooh, watermelon is one of my favorites. You got some watermelon flavored by Charms. Charms, most of this, a lot of this is Charms. Very interesting. Fluffy stuff. I see a theme here. <laughs> More peeps, marshmallow flavor. You know, I am going to have to go out on YouTube and find recipes that I can make with cotton candy. I'm going to have to Google it and see because there's got to be something I can do with this besides just shove it down my throat. <gasps> Hawaiian punch. Yes. Yes. I'm a Hawaiian punch child. Actually, no, it's high C. My mom used to buy high C cans where you pop it on both sides. She liked the orange and my dad liked the green one. There was a green one. Cooler, it was called something cooler, not cactus cooler. That's the soda, but it was something cooler. And uh, yeah, there was a green one, an orange one. Those were the ones they bought. And there's a container of jelly bean cotton candy. That one's orange. And there's a, ooh, a unicorn cotton candy. This one's lots of little colors. 
this is kind of what happened when I was out looking for popcorn stuff. <laughs> I all of a sudden I started seeing all the popcorn and I just was grabbing everything I could find. Or when I decided to do the birthday cake flavored stuff. Um, handmade in the USA in Ohio. Very interesting. Bubble gum. Oh, doesn't that sound yummy? Okay. I am running out of room. Oh, okay, there we go. There is... What's this flavor? Cream sickle. Orange and vanilla. That is like one of my favorite flavors. What did I have that was cream sickle? Oh, Shasta has a soda that's orange and vanilla. It's really good. It's like an orange cream soda. And I, I bought some. I drink that. It's no caffeine in it. So I have that when I get home. And lastly, I saved this for last because I have to be very careful with taffy of my teeth but i can suck on it until it gets really soft and this is not really hard which is very nice and this one is cotton candy flavored taffy oh mary girl you have done it this time i definitely can't do this all in one sitting for sure but i think i'm going to open one right now we'll have a tasting of one one of these is not too big doesn't have much in it. This one's kind of small. I'll open this one first. If I do the peeps, maybe I should just bite some peeps heads off for starters instead of doing the cotton candy. I think I'll do that. I'll do the peeps first. This is going to be fun. So I think that's what I will have to do. I will have to spread this out. So I don't uh, have an episode because <laughs> us, us um, people with these new stomachs, man, we get too much sugar. We, we feel like we're going to die. It's called dumping where all the uh, stuff dumps into your blood at the same time, the insulin. It's an insulin dump, I think. So yeah, I really appreciate the thought. I appreciate the work that went into finding all of these and I will be trying them. So let's try this one. Let me, let me have some peeps to start with. Mm, I love marshmallows. Mm. I know you put these in the microwave, they blow up. They don't really melt, do they? If you put them in a pan, they are marshmallows. And when you make marshmallow crispies, you put marshmallows in there and they melt, right? Hmm. Cotton candy is sugar. It's just spun sugar. So it should melt too, right? Melt into a syrup. I will see. I like researching stuff. Mm, that's good. Well, Mary, thank you so much for the thought. Thanks for the work that went into this. And um, yes, I shall be eating them. Like I said, when I do my videos, I'll pull a few out and do a tasting. <laughs> mm, marshmallow. Okay, I just want to share my happy mail with you. I wish I could share my sugar with you, too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary. And um, I'll see you again real soon.